So anytime a child of God walks away from the authority of, of the father, you are breaking the seal. You don't want your father's covering any longer. You are the one that walked away. So the enemy is permitted to, you know, afflict the person. But today I pray none of us will walk away from the edge of the father. Oh, yes, we will be under obedience in the name of Jesus. You know, when the, 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 the prodigal son came back, the first thing that the father did was, he said, put a robe upon him. Because at the time the boy walked out of the father's covering, his dignity was taken away. When you break the, the seal, by rebellion or by any attitude, your dignity will be taken away. You can no longer represent God well. You are neither here nor there. The enemy will lay claim over you. So that was why his dignity was taken away. Because he married himself to the far country people that diminished him. And the second thing that we saw that the father did, he put ring in the hands of the boy. He gave him back his authority. So when the seal is restored, when the seal is restored by repentance, when we confess our sins, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every form of unrighteousness. It doesn't matter how much you've broken the seal. Once you repent, the seal is restored. The edge is restored. The edge of protection is restored on you. So when the boy came back, immediately said, I will go back to my father. That was the process of deliverance. It was being delivered now from the enemy. It was being delivered from a wasteful life. It was being delivered from the life that diminishes and all. As he was coming back, that was restoration. And when he came back to the father, the father restored back his dignity. The father restored back what? The authority. Rings are used as a symbol of authority. And the father restored the authority. And when the boy came back to shoes were put on his leg, it means that his destiny was being restored. When you go out of the seal, your destiny can be vandalized. Your destiny can be truncated. Your destiny can be attacked by the enemy. But once you are under the blood, your destiny can, is in the hands of God. The enemy will not be able to touch you. With that in mind, I want us to know that a lifestyle of obedience, a lifestyle of, uh, of praise, a lifestyle of uh, do, staying under the blood is very, very important because when you break the edge, the enemy will be able to bite. But today I pray for you and I, we will not get, give foothold to the devil. We will not give foothold to the devil because in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, he said, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. We do not want, if we are ignorant of his devices. Anytime you start doing the wrong thing, you are breaking the edge. Anytime you start, you know, disrespecting your, your family, disrespecting the, 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 the word of God, not obeying the word of God, you are opening yourself for the enemy to bite. You are opening yourself for the enemy to attack. Praise the Lord. Today, God will deliver us. God will deliver you and I from every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. You see, the seal was upon Joseph. That's why Joseph said, I fear God. If Joseph has attempted to do anything with Potiphar's wife, the seal could have been broken. And the enemy could have destroyed him. But he kept himself. That was why finally he became what? A, a, the nest to the king. Because he kept himself under the seal. I want us to stand to pray. That God will help us. That anything that will make us leave the blood mark. Anything that will make us break the seal. That God will deliver us from it. I don't know about you. But I want to pray that way. That Father Lord help me to stay under the blood. Help me to stay under your seal. Help me to stay under your protection. Remember the seal represents protection. Represents God's favor upon your life. Help me to stay oh Lord. That the enemy will not take advantage over me. The enemy will not take advantage over my family. We will not give 
give foothold to the enemy. We will not allow the enemy to have any, any say over us. By our actions, by our, uh, our, uh, our, our, our pronouncement, by the way we do things. But Father Lord, help me to stay under the blood. Help me to stay under the blood. You can imagine the children of Israel when God told them, Stay under the blood. Anybody that comes out of that place, the person will die. And the person said, no, I do not want to stay under the covering of the blood. You are on your own. I want you to pray, Father, anything that will make me expose my life, expose my family, oh Lord, to the attacks of the enemy. Father, Lord, show it to me. Are there ways I'm breaking the edge? Are there ways I'm breaking the edge? It might be daily. You are doing one little thing, one little compromise, one little thing. The edge is being broken. The edge is being broken. I want you to pray any way I am compromising that we give the enemy foothold over me or foothold over my family. Today, Lord, by your mercy, come and deliver me. Come and deliver my family. Come and deliver. Are there those little sites you are going to? The pornographic site, the, the little things you are doing. And you said, oh, it doesn't matter. Nobody's seeing me. But Satan is a tax master. Anytime you are rebellious, anytime you are sinning, Satan is seeing you. And he will set trap for you to put you into the pit. I want you to pray. Father, Lord, anything that will make Satan to have an edge over me. Today I cry for mercy. Lord, deliver me. As a child of God, help me to be a good example to others to follow. Help me to be a good example that the enemy will not have any accusation against me in the name of Jesus. And as a worker, Father Lord, you bless Job in such a way that you bless the works of his hand and he increase. Father, bless the works of my hand. Bless me, O oh Lord, in my going out. Bless me in my coming in. Bless my family, O oh Lord, because I'm present in that family. There should be a difference. The enemy should not be able to touch us because I'm under the blood. I am under the seal. Oh, yes, the angels of God are surrounding me and all my property. None of my property will diminish. Malika Skilabos, someone is praying there. I want you to take this very important. The enemy comes, you know, in, in subtle way. Before before you know it, there's a crack in the wall. Before you know there's a crack in the wall. There's that little lying. There's that little stealing. There's that little compromise. There's that little fornication and all this type of thing. And before you know, the enemy will tie you, tie you, tie you and just slaughter you. There was a story of a woman, I've said it before. She's a big prayer warrior, but when she's angry, she's so angry. Then they, they look for the time the edge was broken and they attack her and give her stroke. And that was how they wasted her life. I want you to pray. Anger will not make the enemy to attack me. Bitterness will not make the enemy to attack me. Unforgiveness will not make the enemy to attack me. Rebellion will not make the enemy to attack me. Father, Lord, today I pray by your almightiness, oh Lord, deliver me. Deliver my family. That Lord, we continuously hide us under the blood. We are sealed by the blood. We are sanctified by the blood. We are incubated by the blood. We are delivered by the blood. We are redeemed by the blood. Continuously we will be under the blood in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. That's our prayer, Lord. Have mercy and continuously keep us standing. Keep us under the blood. Keep us under the seal so that the enemy will not touch us. And let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen.